Hey guys and welcome to Toy Review TV. Today I have some news for all you Lego enthusiasts like myself. Uh, Lego have uh, released some news today of the forthcoming sets which will be the Lord of the Rings trilogy sets. Uh, they have a release date for June of the first wave which is all very exciting. Um, they have the right to release the whole of the three films from the trilogy plus the upcoming uh, Hobbit films as well which uh, the first Hobbit film is called An Unexpected Journey and that will be released or premieres on December the 14th so expect some more sets tied into this movie line of The Hobbit uh, around the December area uh, it's all very very exciting news as I know a lot of LEGO fans have been asking Lego to produce this line of sets for quite a long time and uh, with with all the sets that have been released in 2012 some have already been released but it's it's going to be very expensive for a lot of us Lego collectors but very very exciting uh, the only big problem will be to find all the room to keep them in <laughs> which is going to be what a massive problem for a lot of us but anyway you know. uh, as we know uh, Marvel and DC 2012 those are some amazing sets which have started to come out in, in the USA already which some of you might already have over there uh, the new Star Wars uh, sets will be released in 2012 uh, the Dino sets which have also come out in uh, the USA uh, well, another exciting set is the Kingdom Joe set which is 10223 uh, that is released on the 26th of December so just before the, the New Year sets in we will be able to order this on uh, Shop at Home on uh, the LEGO website uh, in the, here in the UK it's priced up at 99.99 I'm very excited to get that Kingdoms Joe set and I will be ordering it the day it is released and also the mini modular set so on top of all this now we have the Lord of the Rings trilogy Lego sets which uh, I would say 99% of Lego collectors will be buying if they can afford it obviously or if not, the very exciting news for at least 99% of LEGO collectors. Let's just talk anyway about what we can expect to see in these new sets. I would like you to leave in the comments box any ideas what you think LEGO will be releasing as a set for this line. Like the castles, you know, anything. I mean, some of the characters that we'll see, you know, dwarves, orcs, elves, uh, Gandalf's going to be in it, Frodo, Gollum. Uh, the Ents, which are the, the, the tree uh, people, the big uh, trees, the, the main one called Treebeard, of course. The Balrog, uh, which is the big fire demon with the whip that takes uh, Gandalf down. Um, I, I would like to see that in a set. Uh, there's Bilbo Bagging, there's Saruman, uh, Ring Race as well. The Ring Race, or, I, I would say, will be released. Aragorn. Uh, there's, there's lots and lots. Of, uh, of it's endless, a bit like the Marvel and DC line. This could go on for some time, and they have a multi-year contract for this, so it will go on for some time, which is all good news for as a collector, but not for my wallet so much. So I'll just have to try and save a little more. <laughs> um, as I say it's based on all the three films, so we will we will hopefully be getting sets based on every film, so it won't just centre on just one film it will be on all three um, as I say the pressure from fans asking for this uh, this line of Lego I think has pushed it forward and uh, Lego have been trying to get the actually to seal the deal for this license so Lego collectors on top of that have really pushed for this so that's all helped so it's definitely a multi-year license um, what can we expect in the sets itself? Away from the, the minifigures, what can we expect to see in these, which frankly are going to be awesome sets? We're going to see some brilliant castle designs. Uh, castles and fortresses. Uh, the human castles and fortresses. Uh, castles and fortresses, sorry. Osgiliath, Isengard, uh, Helm's Deep, all very good sets that may be released you may be able to answer that what do you think what do you think uh, castles and fortresses of the elves now elven warriors are going to be fantastic figures um, minus Tirith which is the chief fortress in Gondor and Rivendell 
which are two I've picked out there. There are more, so as I say, comment. And then we'll have the also evil uh, fortress, etc. Baradur, which is a uh, in the Mordor capital, throne of Sauron, minus Morgul. There's lots and lots of different sets. I can't. I've not actually ripped them all down, um, but this is something that we can just keep talking about up until the day they do get released or we get any news anyway. But I will keep updating as more and more news comes out and I will keep updating on the news of these sets because it's very exciting. Um, we've already had a, a recent dwarf released in the, in the series sets, which is this guy. And I thought that this minifigure, well, I, I actually think this is one of my favourite minifigures that was released. I just think he's fantastic and he's very dark looking and I do believe that they will use this sculpt on most of the dwarves or it will resemble pretty much what this looks like so judging by that as well and all, all the extras that we're going to get all the, all the new characters it's a very exciting time to be a Lego collector so get saving your money for 2012 because you're going to need it and try to find some more room to store those sets in but until then guys thanks for watching and please comment i really want to know what you think will be released cheers guys